Hi, welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. Isn't it frustrating that when you have a battery pack and it starts to fail, that it's really not made to replace the batteries? We've got a fix. This is a battery pack from a headlight that I, that I typically use, and it's gone bad. And instead of throwing this away and buying another one, I bet there's a way we can open this up, dive into this, and fix it. Let's take a look. So here's a battery pack and there are many that are similar to this but inside here are probably some rechargeable batteries because we recharge it all the time and we'll be able to fix it. They're either going to be nickel metal hydride which have memory which are not great or lithium. This is a relatively new uh, battery pack so it probably has lithium. It has very very small screws Let's take these out and I've magnetized the tip of this screwdriver so the screws come out with it. I don't want to lose those so we'll put those in a little container. Okay, there are four of them. We'll keep those over here. Let's see what happens if we can take this apart. All right, so we can see it's got some batteries. When we look close at these, they are the 18650. That is a lithium ion battery that is actually easily replaced. I've got some right here. These are the replacements for those. Note 18650. And this is a common battery used in tactical lights and other things really works well and should be able to be recharged hundreds of times. So now we've got the issue with this battery pack. You can see it's soldered to a plate. This is probably a nickel strip and the same over here but with a little bit of insulation so it doesn't short out. So the first thing we're going to do is get the soldering iron out and see if we can break this free. This actually could be spot welded, but we're gonna solder this. Um, I don't have a welder that can do spot welding in, in this small area. And we've got some nickel strips uh, that I've purchased that we can probably tune this up. Note the polarity of these batteries. The plus are both on the same side. The minus are both on the same side. If we flipped this battery around and hooked it up, this thing would have a meltdown. So plus, plus on the same side, minus on the same side. Let's see if we can get this disconnected and then create a battery pack out of two free batteries, which I think we can do. So we're going to use my trusty Weller soldering gun. This thing I've had forever and it works great. It's got a little weak light here that's inconsequential, but boy, does it heat that tip up. Also, I have these nickel strips, which we're going to use to join the two batteries together, which will be in parallel. They will be a parallel pet set, not in series. Series would be one after the other like this. This is series. This is parallel. Let's heat this up. So right here, I think I can heat this up and take the take this positive wire off, off of this. I think it's a nickel strip. Up, oh, came off, yay! And we've got the negative here. Up, oh, that came off too. So, good job, Weller. Now we're going to duplicate this battery pack and put it back in. So how do we duplicate this battery pack? It's simple. We just take some tape. We're going to wrap it around this so it stays intact. We're going to put a nickel strip across each side. I'll probably reuse this insulation and then we'll solder our tabs back on. So 
I've taken some scotch tape and just strongly tighten this wrap this around so that they won't rotate and then I'm getting ready to put the nickel strips across here before we do that let's take this insulation off that's easy we'll save that and we'll reapply it that goes on the negative side so I'm going to just mark the negative here just to remind me in INS insulation okay so I've got a nickel strip here which are made by the way to do this and I'm just going to cut it to length the scissor put a little flux on the ends see if we can solder this we'll put a little solder on each of the contacts first and then we'll put our nickel strip on there come on to melt this side without it getting too hot on my side that I'm holding. Okay, that side's good. Now we'll do this side. Do this without cooking the battery. There we go. We'll use a clamp to steady us. And we're going to add a little solder to the other end of the batteries. Good. Now we'll see if we can... Solder one side, then the other. We have a battery pack. Alright, so we use some helping hands here to hold everything in position. I put some flux on this already. I will just put a little solder on it. that also for the negative wire all right let's see if I can do this with the negative wire now this one's on a lot little tighter tether great now we'll side of these strips to the battery pack put it back together and we're good okay we soldered the uh, negative to the negative and we'll put the piece of insulation back that goes in like this and now we'll solder the positive to the positive this help hold that in place with this clamp solder this here and we'll be good to go <sighs> all 
That's a nice solder joint. Our battery pack is complete. So we'll just put the cover back on and close it up and we've replaced our batteries in our battery pack and this should last for many years. Okay so we've got the battery pack reassembled and take a look it's working. So we're in good shape those batteries came obviously charged up so I'm really excited to put this back into use. So. These batteries, just because they fail, doesn't mean you have to throw the whole battery pack away. You can replace those, save a lot of money, have a nice fun time doing it. I enjoy this stuff. And again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, please comment, please click like. Stay safe.